D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video, and you can read them and, you know, come up with your own mind, or you can just listen to um, this video, and I break them all down for you, and we just move on and everything. Uh, before I get started, though, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm, and small channels like mine usually get pushed to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Wes Anderson is casting for his next movie and man has he got some good names on this list and I want to focus on two of them but let me just give you some of them. He's got Brian Cranston, Hope Davis, Jeffrey Wright, uh, Le Lev Schreiber, that's how you say it, and then he's got his his regulars of uh, Adrian Brody, Bill Murray, Tilda Swinton, and Jason uh, Schwartzman. There we go, that's what it is. But the two I want to just focus on real quick is... Um, is he's casting Margot Robbie and Scarlett Johansson. Oh, and the reason I want to focus on these two, um, Scarlett Johansson, you may have remember her. She was from um, Marriage Story. Very good. Go watch it. And then she, most recently, Black Widow. And the Black Widow is the thing I want to talk about just for a second. Now, he uh, has cast uh, her and she has got some problems going on. Uh, she is suing Disney over uh, Black Widow and that whole thing. If you don't know about it, go research it. Um, I'm not going to get into it right now, but, uh, you know, and I mean, like, I think that she needs this. She needs like a, a movie to jump on to not necessarily a blockbuster. This is not going to be a blockbuster. If you want to watch any of Wes Anderson's movies, but she definitely needed to jump onto something. Now she has worked with, um, Wes Anderson, uh, before, but only in that Isle of dogs. And she only did voiceover work. So um, she was going to do Tower of Terror with Disney and then they dropped it because, you know, she's suing them. I drop it, too. I'd be like, you know, you you want to you want to you want to sue me. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. Also, Tom Hanks is in this movie. Yay, Tom Hanks. Sorry, I had it written down. I don't know why I didn't mention it. Crazy. Anyways. So she kind of needs it and everything just so she can get a movie under her belt. So because everybody's all like, oh, she's finished in Hollywood. Nobody's going to work with her ever again. Uh, uh, no, touche, Scarlett Johansson, you grabbed on a movie. And the next one I want to focus on is Margot Robbie. And she's from coming right off of the Suicide Squad. Now, she did say that she's going to take a break from Harley Quinn. So it makes sense that she's just going to do uh, some movies or whatnot. Plus, we don't know if Harley Quinn's going to return to the DCEU. I mean, we have to be honest. Sure, this first Suicide Squad did well commercially as far as uh, our bud, uh, um, box office wise. But I mean, people didn't like that movie. And, and let's be honest, it's not the best movie in the world. There are things that I do like about it. Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. I do like her Harley Quinn, even though that's not my favorite version of it. She did a good job. But then you also have to look at Birds of Prey and at The Suicide Squad. Neither of them did good box office wise. And so you have to ask yourself, are people going to come to see this movie because Margot Robbie's in it? Now, granted, there's all these other great actors and actresses in it, and this is an ensemble cast, so they might go to see this movie because of that. But I just think that maybe uh, this... I think this is a good choice for both Scarlett Johansson and Margot Robbie because Wes Anderson movies, I usually like his movies. Um, some of them are a little weird, but whatever. But I usually like them. Um, I'm just curious to see how this pans out. Now, this is... Um, this has started shooting, um, and uh, and this, uh, which uh, Anderson wrote and directed this movie, it started shooting in Spain and everything, and the plot details are kept a little close to the vest. They haven't been able, they haven't said anything about what the plot is. And it has indicated, he has indicated that the cast is the one of the largest and the most, uh, uh, than most of his other movies. And his casts for his other movies usually um, are pretty big, but they're like usually little lower uh, tiered actors. I don't want to be disrespectful, but like like it's it's usually Adrian Brody, uh, Tilda Swinton, and John um, uh, Schwartzman, and those actors are good, but they're not like they're not like A listers. Let's be honest, they're not A listers and everything. And uh, he is expected to wrap up shooting in late September of this year. And like I said, they're shooting in Spain. Um, and this is just in time to open and the open of his latest movie, The French Dispatch, um, which is in October, um, and that's being uh, put out by uh, Searchlight.
Um, so, you know, good for them and everything. And I hope, I hope this movie turns out. I hope it, I, I can't wait to hear what it's about. Can't wait to hear what it's about. So tell me, what do you guys think about this? How do you feel about Wes Anderson's new movie? We don't know what it's about, but him casting all of these great people in it, including Scarlett Johansson and Margot Robbie. Um, you know, do you think it'll be good? Uh, you know, all that. Do you like Wes Anderson? Do you not like Wes Anderson? Uh, do you like Scarlett Johansson and Margot Robbie and all these other great actors on here? Or do you, are you just going to pass on this? Because Wes Anderson movies are just kind of like, eh, whatever. I mean, I like his movies, but you know, you may not. So go ahead and tell me what you think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys. You guys have a good week. Bye.